Hi everyone, welcome. And I wanna show you in this video how to use Discord so that you're more comfortable with it when we do our live discussions. I find a few of our AFK and ACJ students just find challenging, find it challenging or find some difficulties in using Discord, navigating the software. Um, so I wanna make sure you know it's, it's easier for you. Uh, I wanna show you some things to do in it, troubleshooting some problems, you know, how to do things in Discord because I like to use it a lot and it really is beneficial to our students. We do it almost weekly now and some like, you know, just discording, chatting about uh, what we did this week, what to do next, how, how everything is going on. Uh, it's mainly for our students, our, the channel. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So please um, just follow it step by step and learn from it so that our Discord discussions go more smoothly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first let's start with downloading Discord, right? So you're going to go to, you know, your browser, okay? And just type in discord.com. There you go. So now, there you go. See how easy that was? Discord.com. Now, one mistake I saw some students make is they go and open Discord in your browser. I prefer not to do that. Download it, okay? It's easier to download it for Windows. Now, is there one for Mac? I'm sure there is because one of our instructors uses Mac and they, and He's still using Discord, so it should be okay for Mac. Um, however, if it's not working, if, if it doesn't work on Mac, then maybe you could do the browser type. But it's just easier if you do the download one, okay? Uh, so you're going to download, okay? So I clicked on it. And you know how this works. It's going to download in the browser here. You see where it downloaded. Wait until this finishes. All right, almost done. Now, in the meantime, if you need to learn how to extract a RAR file, um, I've noticed also some students have an issue with that. Uh, so if you have a RAR file here, here's a RAR file. You can see it here on the right side of the screen, I believe. Okay. So you just right click on it and then you see how it says extract. I usually choose this one here where it says extract to, and then it says the name of the file. It'll make a folder for you and it has that file in it in the same area here. Okay, so if you do that, it'll just make a folder right here that has what's inside. Think of a RAR file like a box and you need to open this box. So this is the way to do it. Um, okay, so it's downloaded. Now I'm just gonna click on it here. I know it looks like we have doubles. So let me just kind of put one here. Still looks like that, so. There, okay. So you're gonna click on this here now, and then it's gonna go, oh, you wanna install and run this? Yeah, you go, okay, I wanna do that. I wanna run it uh, and install it. Now it's gonna install. I'm go I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, so now we're done with the installing part. Let me close this window or minimize it. And now we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you, oh, you're gonna see all this now here, but basically here we have the Discord uh, part, okay? Okay, the display here. Okay, so you can see here Discord. So once you install it, you double click on it like any software or app, it's gonna ask you, hey, you gotta log in. Um, you know, that's pretty normal, right? Log in, put in the email and password, done. Um, I might need you to confirm things through your email, sure. So now you're opening it, this is it. So to access our channel, so we have discussions, we'll, we will send you an invite link, okay? So you, we have to invite you to our channel. We either send it to you an email or depending if we have a WhatsApp group, so it's not too difficult. We'll send you an invite link. You click on that link and it'll invite you to our channel. So here's where your channels will be. So you can see my channels. I have many. Uh, one I have with my friends, many scholars one, meetings and stuff like that. So, so thus you're gonna get the scholar channel. So if you're an AFK student, you'll be part of this AFK scholar channel. If you're an ACJ student, you're gonna be part of the ACJ scholars channel, whichever one. You're gonna have it here on the left side. Okay, so you're gonna click on it. Let's say I'm, you're an AFK, you click on it. And once you see each channel will open different, you see how the, this area all changes. So click on the AFK and you'll see here, okay? Now, once you clicked on the AFK, um, you wanna see, this is where the chatting screen is, okay? So this is the text screen. So you could send messages here like, hello, I am in, okay? Um, for example, now I hope no one responds because some of our AFK students are here, but you can see that, right? Um, 
And the other thing is, for example, uh, you could actually maybe I could make this even better for you if I could show you. OK, there you go. Let's do that, guys. OK, so I can show you more details and I like showing you guys more details. OK, so I'm going to make this window bigger here there for now, because that way you don't have to see you get to see it more detail a bit. OK, so that's there you go. I'm testing down here. Now, when you want to speak to us, when we want to chat, you look at here, you have this says here text channels, you see text channels. When you click on the this hashtag or or pound symbol in general, what that will do is we'll always bring this text box here, the messaging areas. And by the way, the messaging is infinite. So if you go back, you can see everything that's happened before. OK, now. If you want to speak to us, you don't click on the general up here. You click on the one under voice channels. So you can see here under voice channels, you see general with a capital G. I have here additional ones like group one, group two, group three, right? We could, I can keep making our, our scholars dental could keep, we could keep making more channels here. Okay. So you have to click on the voice channels underneath it. Not the, if you click on voice channels, nothing happens. You have to click on the general. OK, and you can see the icon here that there's like that symbol, the sound symbol. Right. So that means this is a voice channel. This is where we talk. Then you have to see that your name goes in. So this is my name. So you see if I click on group one, my name goes under group one. If I click on group two, my name grows under group two. OK, that's where I am. That's the channel I'm in. So no one from group one could hear me if I'm in group two. No one from general could hear me if I'm in group two. OK, um, if I click on the general under text, you see nothing happens. But the reason is it, it, the text box is already open. This this chatting area. OK, so now I clicked on this and you can see here it says muted and deafened. That means I can't hear anything and I can't speak. I'm muted. So you change that by going to these two here. OK, so if you want to speak, you have to unmute yourself. You can see that when you unmute yourself, you automatically can hear. So you can't talk without blocking your hearing here in this in Discord, but you could mute yourself uh, without, but but keep hearing. So you could hear what other people are saying and have yourself only muted. But if you deafen yourself, then it automatically does both. So let me show you. See, now I'm all open and you can see how I glow when I talk, right? You see, uh, but hello. OK, so you see when I speak, my name glows. That's how you know if your voice is working in, in the Discord channel. If I deafen myself, if I click on it, it blocks both my mic and my headphones. OK, if I if my mic, if someone in the background is talking and it's, it's maybe bothering other people, I could put my mic on mute, you see like that, and then they can't hear me. OK. All right. So that is for kind of, uh, you know, navigating the basics there. And this text area is really cool. Like, look, you see this file here? Let me see if you could see it. Yeah, you could see it. You could just take it and drag it right here. You see how it says drag and drop and you go upload and it's there it is. Now it's inside our Discord channel. It's going to be there unless I delete it or the person that uploaded it deleted it. Also, let me give you another one here. Let's say, uh, let me see if I could show you my browser. Okay, so you see the browser there. I'm going to take, I'm going to make this big and take a screenshot. So if you, if you click print screen on your keyboard, I click print screen. I'm going to minimize it. I'm going to go into the text channel for Discord now right here and then just right click and paste or control V and look it's going to print my screenshot it's going to say do you want to upload and add a comment look just right isn't that awesome it's so nice to use I like Discord this for this reason um, you know I'm not associated with them in any way I'm using it because it helps our students so you can see how it's easy to use uh, you could drag any file, you could print screen and paste it in here. Uh, pretty nice, right? Um, what else can you do? Let's see. Um, that's for that. Now let's look at some troubleshooting issues. Okay. We did drag files. We did screenshots. So you, sometimes you may need to go to the settings. Okay. So look at here on beside the headphones icon, uh, you have settings. So if you go to settings, you guys could see this. I want to confirm. Yep. 
you'll see here uh, that you could see voice and video. Okay, click on that. Now, this is very important. A lot of people have issues in this area. So your input device means your microphone. Make sure you have the right one selected. So you, for example, if you're using a laptop and then you have headphones that have a mic, Discord doesn't know which microphone do you want to use. Do you want to use the microphone that's with the headset or do you want to use the microphone that's in the laptop? So you have to tell it which one to use. Um, and that's something, so you have to try, keep trying them. Go to this one and then say, see if it works. Go to this one and see if it works. And again, you can see if it works by going back and see if your name glows when you talk. And you can even see the activity in this bar. So you can see it's not working for me here or here. But when I click on this one, hello? Oh, you see here? It's, it's, it's that green bar is glowing. So if I go here, hello, it's not glowing anymore, right? So road, hello, it's glowing. And also, if you're not hearing, make sure you have the right speakers correctly focused, uh, selected. So check if it's your headset, if it's the laptop speaker, so, and play with them until you figure it out. Okay, so that's for settings, inputs. I'm going to cross that out. We've covered that. Now there's another thing that's cool here, which is voice activity versus push to talk. Okay, voice activity means that, that um, Discord will send your voice just once you talk. Once you start talking, it'll pick up that sound and send it. If no one's talking, it won't make any noises and you could change the sensitivity for that, okay? Uh, now push, let's say you're someone that has a lot of background noise. A lot of people are talking in the back and you don't feel like muting yourself and then unmuting yourself. So what you could do is go to push to talk. Push to talk means the microphone only works when you push a certain button. So let's say, um, and you could select any button you want. So let's say I want to select maybe, I don't know, shift there. So now you can see there's no sound. Hello. Well, you're not going to see this now, but if I go back to this here, look, I'm not glowing. But when I hold shift, hello, 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 it's glowing. So uh, if you have background noise, then this is a good way to do it as well, where you um, use push to talk means that you have to push the button for the microphone to work. That way you're, we're only hearing you when you're talking. Okay, let's go back to settings. because I don't like push to talk. I like that I don't have to push any button uh, to talk. So I'm just going to put voice activity, which means it's always on. Okay, uh, it picks up based on voice. So. That's pretty much it for troubleshooting and, 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 and this whole settings area. This is mainly the settings that you want to learn about. So, uh, you know, you do it properly. So let's close that. We talked about different voice channels and groups. These may have different names based on what I give you or what we make them to be. Um, now let me show you how to share your screen. If you need to share a screen. Okay. A lot of people have trouble with this as well because it is quite confusing. So when you share screen, you're going to click on screen here on the bottom left. You see it? Okay. You're going to click on screen. Now, once I click on screen, I'm going to, um, you see, you get a pop-up window. Do you see the pop-up? Yes, you do see the pop-up. Good. So the pop-up here, um, Oh, let me go click on screen again. There you go. Now you get the pop-up. Don't click on whatever here. Okay. So some people just go and start clicking on general. What this means is that you're going to share your discord. I don't want to see your discord. I don't need to see that. I want to see your screen. For example, if you're sharing your screen, so don't go to applications, go to screens. Okay. Once you go to screens, go to screen one and then click go live. Once you do that, we'll see everything on your screen. So make sure if there's something you don't want us to see, don't keep it on your screen, delete it or hide it in a folder. Okay. The other way to do this is if you go to share screen and you want to share, let's say a presentation, you could go to applications and select the presentation itself and it'll only share that presentation. But you know, we don't really use that. Usually I'm the one sharing my screen, but if the student wants to share their screen to fix a problem, just go to screens, screen one, and then go live. Okay. So let me show you something else. Sometimes, so I'm done with that. Sometimes this area disappears. Let me see how I could make that disappear. So let's say I'm sending someone a private message. I don't know, maybe um, this person, I'm going to send them a message. So you can see the whole thing changed, right? Um, and you want to go back to that original one. So you go back to the channel, AFK, for example. Well, it comes up automatically, but sometimes it does disappear. 
I'm trying to see when it does disappear here. Let me see if I can figure it out. I mean, these problems don't always happen. But anyway, any time where you find that this box where the texting, the messaging, the chat and the, and the files and all that, it disappears, to the way to get it back is you go to text channels and click on general, okay? Once you click on general, it opens up again. So this clicking on this, you know, hashtag general, um, it opens this box here, the chatting area, okay? You can see it again. Um, and clicking to, to talk again, you have to click on these channels under the voice channels, okay? You click on general or group. Remember, clicking on voice channel doesn't do anything, okay? So you have to click on the actual sub category, like general or group one or group two, and we may change those. Uh, let me mute myself here just in case it's messing up with the audio. Okay, everyone. So that's it. Hopefully that uh, clarifies everything about how we use Discord. Uh, very useful tool that we're using at Scholars Dental. And I hope, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's super beneficial for our students. So, um, you know, if you join our courses, you're going to see how cool it is to do and communicate this way. And to, you know, we just hang out and talk about, hey, what do we study this week? How was Resto? How was materials? Do you have any questions about it? Um, and that's separate than our Zoom sessions. So we like the casual kind of meetups and also the official Zoom meetups. We have both along with our videos. Um, again, if you want to ask about our courses or you're interested, uh, please visit our website, scholarsdental.com, subscribe, like this video, and uh, you know, it'll help us with our channel as well. And you know, uh, AFK course, ACJ course, and hopefully uh, we may be also coming up with an ACS uh, program. Uh, and that's it. So hope that was all you needed for Discord. Uh, you could always research more if you need to learn more things about it. Um, I covered everything I had on my list. So that's all. All right. Have a good day and I'll see you uh, soon, hopefully.